Hi everyone, this is Ada Ojide. I'm a new FMP who is passionate about learning. I have 18 years of nursing experience. This video is basically to help medical professionals master the basic concepts in pathophysiology of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Pathophysiological variants in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease involves the GI tract, small bowel, and colon. Histologic features include transmural inflammation, cobblestone mucous membrane, skip lesions, and non-caseating granuloma. Other findings include fissures, abscesses, fistular, and anal stenosis. Extra-intestinal extra features such as amphithous, ulcer, and anal fissures have poor specificity for Crohn's but may manifest as, as an atypical presentation. Ulcerative colitis involves the colon and rectum, including the rectal sigmoid colon and crux sections of the splenic flexure, uh, which includes the transverse and descending segments of the colon, left upper quadrant. Histologic features include friable mucosa as a result of lymphoid infiltration, pseudopolyps. Extraintestinal features include episcleritis, um, high specificity, uveitis, erythema nodosum, and cleolosin spondylitis, amphithous stomatitis, cholelithiasis, and so, far, so forth. These images were adapted from Google search. The microscopic features of ulcerative colitis is um, friable reddened inflamed mucosa. On the other hand, the microscopic features of Crohn's disease include co cobblestoning, coalescent ulceration, amphithous ulceration, patchy edema, and arrhythmia. Now onto the clinical pearls on Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. GI component. Crohn's disease um, has watery stools, may have bloody stool, but this is an this is an atypical presentation. Ulcerative colitis, bloody stools are very common. Endoscopic evaluation include colonoscopy for Crohn's and flexible sigmoidoscopy, sigmoidoscopy for ulcerative colitis. If endoscopy is inconclusive, laboratory measurements are performed for anti and antibodies such as ASCAR, which is, forgive me for my pronunciation, Antisaccharomyces cerevisiae antibodies uh, for Crohn's disease, and ANCA, which is antineutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies for ulcerative colitis. First line therapy for both include five. A ASA agents for ileitis and proctitis. Extensive disease require steroidal therapy and immune uh, modulators. Thanks for listening and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.